What's good? WKGP, you know, Weird Kids Gameplay. Um, right now, we are on actually part two of the uh, Walking Dead, basically. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the last episodes, but I will link them in the description. But let's go ahead and start part two. This is called Star for Help. Okay, so let's go. Oh, guys, you know, uh, everything is going to be all good. I don't know if you've seen what happened last time. They're going to show us a brief, uh, you know, episode of what I did choose. So, yeah. You know, I'm not bad about my decisions. I thought I did pretty good. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm dropping this probably tomorrow, and I'm recording tomorrow again. But I don't know if the episode three is coming up tomorrow either. So. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. You've been all by yourself through this. Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. Yeah, Doug. And I'm screw Carly. you. Screw you, Doug. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug. You got it, boss. <laughs> Okay, I, I, I decided to cheat to save Carly, okay? What happens to you, but if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. He, me and him not really on the right foot right now because, I mean, yeah, I was... Okay, I already know that that's the choices I make and all that and blah, 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 blah. Everything is all good though. I'm gonna make sure I do what I can to keep my people alive. Alright. He done foe. food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. Maybe you should have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Uh, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I've taken it. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on the edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Willie's handling rations. But he knows it's important to keep the adults fed and function. Sometimes that means someone's got to miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and women fighting all the time, it's a getting pretty tense back at the motor home. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Kenny won't abandon us. He's a good man. You know, I guess we'll see. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. You 
thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's on muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck in a room with him. And didn't he punch him in the face one time? Knock me flat. Yeah, he punched me in the face last time. I wasn't happy about that. I didn't even see that coming. He, he really stuck me pretty hard. And you see the previous episode, you'll see. case because he that could have been avoidable all right whatever that's besides the point let's just keep playing 
Yo, I'm so sorry about that though. I really didn't feel comfortable about that, but there was no other way. And we was gonna have some Herschel in that game, you know what I'm saying? You just say I feel kind of bad though, because the old man, he been living for a while and then what if the other dude ain't even getting that before? Because I mean, he kind of young. But I mean, that's just has the point. He, but he could have, he ain't even, you know, well, he should have just real whipped it out, you know? Never mind. That's nasty. I shouldn't be thinking about stuff like that during the zombie apocalypse. Lily, she looking kind of a little bit attractive, but she is crazy. Though. She we got Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come on, come on! Come on. Get out of here! Okay, that just don't look. What are you doing? I have time to explain. Are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken! Lee. I don't know. Lee. 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 What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you uh, thinking? Somebody always got a doubt hey, for a couple minutes. you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? No, I life. don't. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. I thought we could save his life. I'm the one that took his leg. That makes me responsible. Well, that was a stupid thing to do. We are not responsible for every struggling survivor we come across. We have to focus on our group. Right here, right now. Well, hang on. We haven't even talked to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. But that wow. food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any food. She's pretty much of an asshole. Um, she just oh, need the D. Fine. You guys fight it out there. Welcome to the family, kid. She need the D, and then she'll be over fine. Here. See what I drew. What? No, I. Just come on, okay? You, know, you like to think you're the leader of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power Please struggle. Please don't make me decide again. I'm not going to be a part of that. Please don't make me decide. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy to have me distributing the food when there was enough to go around, but now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. It doesn't matter who's in charge. Most people are here now. I guess we just have to decide what happens next. No, Lee, it does matter. One person can't be in charge of everything. You know, it might feel safe for you to sit on the fence, but sooner or later you're gonna have to decide whose side you're on. I don't see any of you stepping up to make the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Really? Dad, please. Last time I checked, she had a vagina. But that's besides the point. I, okay. I don't like you anyway. I'm a your daughter. You think this is easy for me? Everyone's starting to hate me because I'm the one that rations the food. And nobody else wants to. You know what? I'm not doing it tonight. Do it. There's today's food rations, but there's not enough for everyone. Good luck. Alright, the kids gotta eat first. Just saying. I gotta think if it was me. Kids gotta eat first. Ten hungry people. I don't know how many people there is, though. The kids gotta eat first, though. The kids have to eat first. I'm just saying, just, just from my standpoint, the kids have to eat first. Let me go talk to her real quick, though. See what's good. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Hey, Lily. Alright. Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but please, this man has no leg. I did 
did the right thing. Yeah, I know you did. The right thing is just scary sometimes, I guess. Yeah, man, well, I got a butt, man, I'm feeling sad and shit, Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Yeah, I gotta feed the kids, though. Like, I mean, if you was an adult and you had was in a situation, you know you feed the kids, man. How you doing for the time? Okay. What did you have? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Sure. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. Let me give him food, yeah. Like, seriously. Because I, <laughs> I can't just not give him food, man. That's not, you know. Here, Clem. You need something to eat. Mm. An apple a day keeps the doctors away. I love apples. Yay. Thank you. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh, um... Enjoy it. You deserve it. Hey. Yeah. It's my boy. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? Um... Let's see. Crackers or jerky? Look like a jerky boy. Mm. Boy, the jerky. Here. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so hungry. I see. <laughs> Smart. All right. Yo, this is pretend it's your wife, okay, or your husband, depending on what view you're looking at it from. All right. Check Want this. Want something out. to eat? Give it a crackers and cheese. Here. Me? How about you? You look like crap, Lee. When was the last time you ate? I'm okay. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. I know I said it didn't matter why you saved me instead of Doug, but... You don't owe me anything, Carter. All right. Okay. He looked like he going through a hard time. You know what I'm saying? Probably just passed the SAT, ACT. Thought he was going to Harvard. Go ahead and give us some food. You know what I'm saying? Want something to eat? Give my boy the cheese crackers. If your camp got raided, it probably means you haven't eaten in a while. I am really hungry. Thanks. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me. Uh. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Where is Lily at? Cause I mean, I wanna like make things good with her. Honestly, cause you know she is the leader supposedly. So it keeps the walkers out. Carly's been doing the bulk of the lookout duty. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Why you gotta be so green? Like, I might as well just punch him in the face. Just saying. Hey, yeah, you holding up okay, Lee? I was pretty fucked up back there. I'm gonna cut that guy's leg off. Yeah, I just hope Gotcha can save him. Lily's pretty pissed at us. Listen, I know her intentions are good, but... But nothing! She's making the smart choice. Those parasites you guys brought back need to go. Yo, yeah, well, you know what? I'm just... Whatever. You ever miss the Air Force Base? I mean, this wall isn't exactly military standard. No way I'm going back there. You saw what it was like when you guys picked me up. Completely overrun. Need any help with the wall? Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. Do you mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. I'll trust the dad, man. Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. 
Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. No. You didn't think to give me the axe? No, man. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. No, I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you gonna do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. And right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. All right, whatever, my boy. You got it. That's besides the point. I ain't even gonna go there with you, okay? I got better things to do, more people to see, and I'm about to go give these crackers and chili, I mean cheese, to a uh, Lily. You get it? Ha. Rhyming. Yeah, you want some food? Here. I don't want anything from you. Take it anyway. You need to eat. This doesn't change anything. Well, that's it. Not such an easy job, is it? No, 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 no. I don't envy you. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Lee, Kenny, I know I ran out of food before. Hey, it was a tough choice, but you took care of the kids. That's what a real man does. Thanks, Kenny. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. You're out! What happened to my food? You know what? There's none left. Leave me alone. Don't keep treating people like this, and your days in this group are numbered. You're one to talk, old man. Yeah, well, I don't see you working on that wall. God, oh, I work on the wall about two times a day, so I should get like five pieces of chicken. Man, shit just Ken, like leave. Come here, please. I hope he didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. God damn it. So it didn't matter I'm who the sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing. What's his problem? Don't be like that, Lee. I know we've all seen that, but that doesn't make it any easier. Oh, wrong question. That man in broad. I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. What about the other kid? Oh! Hold up! Oh man, my boy, get off! Okay, you. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, fuck. Yo, die! Oh god! Out of How you miss, man? That's that white guy type shit, man. The fuck off my foot, nigga. Wait, oh, 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 I gotta get away, I gotta get away, I gotta get away. Ah, oh, I didn't think to move. Like, I forgot. I didn't, man. Fuck you. Get out of the way. Okay. Alright, it's all good. I didn't know at first that you had to get away. Because it didn't say move the left stick until the end. And I'm like backing away and stuff. That's why you ain't got nothing but one leg. Whoa, hold up, man. Jesus. That's why I'm telling you that wife mentality, my boy. You okay? Ride or die. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure she stay alive. Ain't nobody gonna kill Carly. That's Why'd my baby. Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed. Why didn't you tell us he was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word. But he wasn't bitten. I swear. Well, your not bitten friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife. What? Wait, you all don't know? What the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. 
You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I, I guess so. I don't know. I'm, all I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym, and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning, and... God. Back off! Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we... We just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Carly. You're outnumbered here. Just turn around and go back. Okay, that's fine. Uh, but but you'd really be helping out a fellow survivor if you could park with some extra gas before we leave. No. No. Why do you need gas? No, no white man don't need no gas. Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? Mm -mm. He got a we red got nose. Plenty at the dairy. He got a red nose. A white man got a red nose. Lee, why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what do y'all think? No. I think we'll stay here. We're starting to develop a good vibe here at the motel. Good vibe? Well, Christ, daddy -o. I'm sorry the folks with the food supply and defenses didn't tickle your pretty pink ass. Yo, come on, man. We need to think like a group, Lee. This affects everyone. Then we vote. If everyone agrees, then we'll send you guys with guys with some gas to check the place out. And if we don't? Then we'll stay in this wretched roach motel with your recreational paperweight over there. Plus, we stay close to Macon when we have access to the pharmacy for Dad. Kenny, Katja? We go. Dad? You bet you, pumpkin. Carly? I said we go. I'm in. If they're offering food, we gotta at least check it out. Yo! No! It's a white man offering food. Ain't nothing wrong with white people, just saying. But we not in this predicament. I'm very hungry. Alright, whatever. Clementine, if you hungry, I go. Alright, we're going to a dairy, but ain't no milk. So, this dairy, you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got plenty of food. Y'all don't grow no vegetables on no dairy farm. Get away from that but hold a dairy farm and have meat. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Unless they ate their own cows and stuff. To take but then they wouldn't have any milk and stuff. You think they'd want me for a living? Sure. Everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Trust you. Well, I haven't told anyone. Clementine knows. She was there when we were talking in the drugstore. Asked me about it. I couldn't lie to her. What exactly did happen with the senator? It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, over the years, I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, really appreciate that. Yeah, okay, oh, hey. God, the thing is about to run real quick. So let me just pause it, whatever, and I will catch you on part two, okay?